Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris over at Dixieline Farm and I'm going to show you uh, what's been happening to the record room. So we've got crates, crates, piles, piles, all that down there is VCLT to send out or donate or whatever. Then I got my guitars and then you know some books. But I got this empty space here. Now it's in front of a door that we don't actually use. So I've decided to use another IKEA bookshelf, a 2x4, but I'm going to put it on casters. That way if we ever need to get out, we can roll it out of the way. As most of you probably know, the Expedits are no longer made, but the Calyx, which is basically the Expedit with a little bit thinner wood, is made. So we're going to put it together. Now, don't forget guys, um, always use wood glue when you're putting this together, especially with the dowels, but basically anything that touches each other. It's really going to make the unit a lot stronger. So again, every place you can put glue. Make sure you put some glue. Wait a minute, Chris, doesn't that make a mess? Well, yeah, it does, but all you need to do is take a wet rag and it'll wipe right off. So it's better to do it and clean up the mess than not do it. Here's another tip too. So when the dowels don't go in all the way, you might be tempted to hit them with a hammer. Don't. Just put them in place and then tap the whole block in with a hammer. And that'll actually be a lot better because if you tap it with a hammer very often, You'll snap. All right, Lily, we're going to show off what we've built so far, okay? What do you think? <laughs> all right, well, there you go, everybody. So it's all open right now. You see, we've got it on the casters. Uh, they, of course, say don't do this, which uh, would make sense. But with all the weight of the records and it being set back, it's going to be just fine. So uh, now we just got to go by backer board and uh, put the back on. Okay, so here I am cutting the backer board, uh, 55 and a half by 28 and a half. All right, so the uninteresting hammering the backer board on. Try to use as many nails as you can. That's really going to help the strength. Okay, so here we are with the backer board installed. So that's going to stop the records from falling out the back. Plus, adds quite a bit of stability. But if you like me, you know. You don't like that the records sit back so far. Now some people like that because what they do then is they take the record and put it in front like that. But I don't care for that. So what you do, or what I've suggested in the past was taking some PVC and some uh, pipe. But what you need is just a pool noodle. Take a pool noodle, you cut it just a little bit too long. Use a little knife. Push that in the back. And now your records sit much more forward. Okay, so I'm not completely done, but I've got much more room now. No more records on the floor. And I've got space to add. Still putting away some records. Uh, so, there we go. I am at capacity, or what I think so far I'm at capacity. I Marissa says I'm at capacity, so uh, I'm pulling records out to give away or to donate to people uh, as I go along. Otherwise, some of them that I you know, will only listen to once in a while, I'll digitize and then give away uh, if I have no compelling need to hold on to them you know, for whatever reason, for nostalgia, just because it's cool. You know, some records are just cool to hold on to, but other records, you know, you have them because you have them. So, that's it from Dixieland Farm. Thanks so much for watching.